Hi there, Jeff here from the Wetsuit Centre talking to you today about the O'Neill Ninja Wetsuit. Uh, the Ninja is brand new for fall 2021. Uh, the Ninja was brought in to sit between the Hyper Freak and the Epic in terms of the O'Neill range uh, and offer a suit with a little bit more thermal lining and a little bit more technical with tape seams uh, over and above the Epic but without using the Techno Button neoprene that you get in the Hyper Freak uh, which makes it a little bit cheaper to manufacture. Price-wise, it sits right in the middle between the two, and it's a great option uh, for people that want a good quality O'Neill suit, but without paying kind of Hyper Freak or Psycho Tech or Psycho One money. So, going to the technical features of the suit then, uh, it's the same for men, women, and kids, so we'll just go through the suit. We've got a men's one here, but obviously just cut slightly different for different genders and ages and that kind of thing. On the outside of the suit, um, the actual neoprene itself is the ultra stretch neoprene, the ultra flex neoprene, which O'Neill use in the um, Epic as well. You don't get any smooth skin lining or that's a single line panel on the outside of the suit. You do get it around the back of the suit, okay. And now the suit is fully seam sealed, uh, so you've got uh, glued and blind stitched or welded seams, so it doesn't let any water in through the seams. Uh, and with the Ninja, you've got that sort of internal taping as well, which we're about to show you in a second. Nice big panels of neoprene, obviously no seams where you don't want them like under the arms or anything like that. It's got that nice big panel down the side, which gives you lots of lateral movement and lots of flex through the suit. This one's a 5.4, okay. So flipping the suit around, you can have a look at the paneling there as well. And you've got that smooth skin panel just there as well. And the idea of that is just to keep wind out of the suit a bit better on your back where your kidneys are, keep your blood warmer and obviously keep you in the water warmer for longer. OK, moving down the suit, you've got the standard sort of Duraflex knee pad. Um, pretty much most wetsuits have got that these days. And it's just a really hard wearing material, same over the knee, just to give the sort of uh, strength that you need through the knee so it doesn't wear through. Five mil on the lower body of this particular suit. And then you've got the uh, four mil uh, under the arms and over the arms where you need a bit more flexibility. And that's the same sort of uh, that's the same sort of construction right the way through four three three two. You get that stretchy thin and neoprene in the upper body. Okay, what we're going to do? Bring the camera a little bit closer and show you the chest sit. Now, if you have a little look at the chest sit here, uh, you can see that it's uh, just sort of buttoned down to keep the zip in its place. Uh, what we do is bring the zip back. Okay, uh, the zip is a specially treated zip. It's a um, kind of non-corrosive so it doesn't get salt quite up in and clugs up in it and so it'll keep on working uh, and won't sort of uh, uh, and won't sort of um, corrode on you. Uh, the zip zips from in to out so you don't have to sort of catch the teeth together and pull it across uh, making it nice and easy to get on and off and then essentially just that panel goes up and over the head and then you've got those two pieces of neoprene inside. What that means is the chest zip is actually sewn over the top of the suit okay so essentially you're actually sort of uh, get inside the suit through the two panels and the chest zip goes over the top so that any water comes into the suit instead of going actually into the suit itself it goes on out of the sort of uh, um, the uh, drain holes from the front and back as well so those are purposely there we get a lot of people saying that there's a manufacturing problem with the suit but that's not it's not the case it's basically they're intentionally there to uh, to let water out of the chest panel because it's over the top of the suit itself okay so we're coming back out that's pretty much everything going on the outside of the suit. One thing that's worth noting, uh, you do get that sort of double line collar still with the O'Neill suit. I'll bring it a bit, a bit, a bit closer. And essentially, that's two pieces of neoprene butted up together. Or together. Uh, and what it does, it, the inside is smooth. And what that does is stick to your neck and allows the outside piece to move independently. So rather than getting a piece of neoprene sliding up and down your neck and causing rash, you get um, you get that sort of sticky effect and the rolling will stop any sort of rash and rub or minimalize it basically and it's a really good way to sort of um, seal the suit and stop any uh, water penetrating or stop as much water penetrating the collar and flushing through the suit as is possible so what we're going to do is grab the suit that's turned inside out and you can have a little look at what's going on inside okay now there's sort of two different colours of neoprene that you can see. In the upper body here, you've got that black neoprene, and that's uh, the unlined neoprene, and essentially that's just got um, the ultra flex, it's just still all the flexibility there, um, but without any sort of lining, so no thermal insulation. Now with the Epic, traditionally, you only really, on the back zip, you only got that on the chest panel, and on the chest zip Epic, you only get that on the chest and around the kidneys. With the Ninja, you get, you can see that goes right the way through down to the legs. 
okay and on the back here it goes right into the calves as well okay all the way down the back of the suit and so that's definitely an advantage in terms of insulating you and keeping you warmer and essentially what that is if we zoom in uh, you can have a little look at the sort of like it's kind of like a thermal lining or a thermal underwear type of material when it's a uh, it's called the ultra flex firewall so it's got lots of movement it basically doesn't retain any water it's non-absorbent and as warm air leaves your body uh, or heat leaves your body rather than being lost through the sort of neoprene it's just another layer it's very good very efficient at keeping that heat inside the suit so that thermal lining just like thermal underwear will keep heat inside your body or keep it close to your skin longer keep you in the water and the warmer for longer as well okay so you get that right the way down through the suit uh, while you're looking at the suit as well you might have noticed we'll have a little look at the uh, seams there as well uh, the seams on this particular suit um, sort of from the chest down through the body through the legs and the crutch are taped so you get that taped seam uh, which is really important to some people because it does reinforce the suit reinforces the seams and uh, basically will give more longevity to the suit less likely of having any sort of leaks or any sort of uh, water penetrating the suit with that taping um, it will give it a longer shelf life okay and that you don't get with the epic okay so you only get that in the ninja um but essentially that is everything going on with the ninja key things to remember is ultra flex the same as the epic um but the difference really is that you get the additional lining and you get the taped seams as well and you get that sort of uh double line neoprene on the front rather than the single lined as well um but that's going to, what's going to cost you a little bit extra, essentially. Uh, but so if you're looking for a suit with a bit more thermal lining and tape seams are uh, quite important for you to have, uh, then the um, Ninja is definitely a good suit to go for. Uh, but if you want the all singing, all dancing, super flexi TBX Techno Butter Neoprene, then you're going to be looking from the Hyper Freak, Hyper Freak upwards to the Psycho One, the Psycho Tech and that kind of thing. And obviously we've done different videos on those as well. But uh, hopefully you like the suit. Uh, we think it was kind of a necessary, fits into the range really well and uh, definitely a recommendation from, from the Wetsuit Centre.